Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can install Influx TV on your machine. So if you are interested in this topic, please stay with me. Let's get started. First, you need to download the package of the Influx TV. In this regard, you can search in Google, uh, download the Influx TV, what uh, exactly what I have done. Okay, you can see here, first you can search about the download Influx TV and it's uh, the website of the Influx TV will come up. After you open the page of the Influx TV, uh, you will see here there is the version of the Influx TV which today. Uh, it's in this version and maybe when you are watching this video, the version will change. And also the platform, the package form of the for the Mac OS, Linux, and so on. Uh, so the way is that you can copy this file, for example, in my case, Windows. You can copy this file and uh, paste in the uh, PowerShell and it will be downloaded automatically. But I would prefer another way and I'm um, doing that uh, side. Uh, you can see here there is a one documentation. Click on this documentation, then you, it will direct you to another page, and uh, you can see here get started. So click on the setup in Flux TV. Here you can see it's mentioned download, install, and setup in Flux TV. Again, click on here, and you can select the different. Uh, environment for my case Windows. Then uh, here, scroll down. You will find the the file here. So after you download this file, which is the, the zip file, you need to extract it. So already I have done. So I will not download it again. I will uh, quickly jump to my folder to show you how you can run the server. Okay, after you extract the zip file, you will see such this uh, information. Not this one, this one I added. Please uh, don't care about this. You can later we can change it. Then you need to come here, go to CMD part of the this page, and write. Mm, let me check. And come to influx D that Okay, then it will open running, and here you can see the port. This is the port number eighty eighty six. After you come to the, the port 8086. Yeah, it will direct you to this page. Then you need to click on Get Start, and you would need to select the one username and the password. The password at least eight character. So I'm using eight character. And this is the organization name. You can give it whatever you want. Uh, but you can you should remember they said this is the DB name actually. I give it the IoT and continue. Here you can see there is a API which you need it for the future. So I will copy this. API here and uh, this API is necessary because when you want to ingest the data to the influx DB, it's important. Then after that, you need to come to the quick start. Here you go. Yeah. 
now the server is configured and open running uh, I'm not going to the to details of the this influx DB but if you are really interested in that one I will make another video to show you how you can ingest the data to the influx DB so please keep watching my channel I will upload another video about that. Thank you and see you in the next one.